Hello, YouTube family. I'm coming to you all to talk about a vision that I had. Um, I know uh, I'm always posting a video about hell. And uh, because no doubt that's one of the um, assignments God has called me to do. But today I want to talk about um, a vision I had. Uh, about when I was praying in the spirit. This video is for those who are filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Uh, for those who uh, you don't understand, um, as far as the Holy Ghost and as far as speaking in tongues, this is not for you. This is for those who um, who are filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. It's about prayer. Okay, uh, this video... I want to ask God to forgive me because I was supposed to have been post this. Um, and so I finally decided that I better post this because somebody need to hear this vision. It's very important, especially for those who are prayer warriors and uh, you're assigned to praying in the Holy Ghost for hours and hours and just praying. Uh, just know that when you're praying in the Holy Ghost, that you're praying unto God. The Holy Spirit is a uh, is a paraclete, meaning he's a helper, he's a he's an advocate, he's a go-between. When we're praying in the Spirit, Holy Spirit is praying on on our behalf. Holy Spirit is more so he's more so like a lawyer, someone that goes before God on your behalf because you don't quite know how to pray. But Holy Spirit conveys what we're saying and knows how to convey that to God on our behalf. Okay. Uh, and like I said, this is for those who, you know, you have a little bit more, you can chew a little bit more meat. You know, this, this, this is not the milk of the word. This is the meat of the word. And for those who are filled with the Holy Ghost, you understand what I mean as far as when I say praying uh, in tongues, praying for hours. Uh, whatever it is that God is leading you to do. And sometimes you just want to pray. There are times that you don't know what to pray about, but Holy Spirit knows exactly how to convey it to God when we don't know how. So I had this vision. I had to say all that before, or I felt like I had to say all that before I tell you the vision. The vision was I was praying in the Holy Spirit. And uh, there, there are times, y'all, I'm telling you, I don't know what to say in English. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit. For those who are Christians and you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, you're missing out on the evidence of speaking in tongues because there are times when you run out of things to say in English, you don't even know. You're like, Lord, what else can I pray about? I, I don't know how to pray. Holy Spirit knows exactly how to express that to the Father on your behalf. So when you pray in tongues, you may not understand it, but God understands everything that the Holy Spirit is praying on your behalf. Holy Spirit knows exactly what to pray for concerning you, concerning the will of God in your life. So in this vision, when I was praying in the Spirit, and it was a day I just said, Father, I don't even know what to pray about. I, Holy Spirit, I need you to pray for me on my behalf because I'm just, I'm just at a loss. Sometimes when you don't know what to say, Holy Spirit knows how to convey that. So as I was praying in the Holy Spirit, I saw an open vision. And when I say an open vision, meaning it's just like, uh, for those who have often asked, how do you do that? I don't do anything. It just happens. For those who uh, God will give you ability to see visions, to see dreams, interpretation of dreams, um, I, you see it. It's like looking at a video. It's like somebody pressing play and a video comes on or a television comes on before your eyes, okay? So as I was praying in the Spirit, I saw the ear of God, the ear, okay? And so when I was praying in, in the Holy Spirit, I heard the Father say, I can hear you, Chanel. Uh, I, under, I understand everything that you're saying. I hear you. And I was like, you know, which I knew because script, scripture says it. Uh, it talks about it in 1 Corinthians. I forgot the chapter. Y'all forgive me. 
And uh, but in First Corinthians and uh, Second Corinthians, Paul shares uh, about the duties of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and the purpose of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has a big role in in the body of Christ, but not just the body of Christ in your personal life. So there are times that you're at a loss for words. And yes, we can pray the word of God and that's powerful. God allows us to pray to him or to try to access him on different ways. We can meditate in his word. We can speak the word. Uh, we can uh, pray in the Holy Ghost or pray with evidence of speaking in tongues. Uh, uh, God understand when we just cry. Cry is a form of prayer. The Bible says that God's uh, ear, his ear, it hears or is open to the righteous cry. So imagine for those who you don't understand God, the Bible says we're made in God's image. So if we're made in God's image, that means God gave us ears. He gave us eyes. He gave us nose, gave us a mouth, gave us hands. He gave us a heart where we can feel, see, talk, hear, smell, just like him. We're made in his image. So naturally God has an ear. And naturally, God can hear us, okay? So God, excuse me, y'all. God is omnipotent. He's omnipotent and he's omnipresent. Omnipotent, meaning he's all-powerful. Omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere at all times. And omnis the omniscient, meaning he's all-knowing. He knows everything, okay? But the way God moves in our life is when we call out to him. And the only way that... um that that God will will understand and know what we desire. We have to share with Him. It's just like your earthly father. When you need His attention, you have to speak in your father's ear. So when I saw the vision and when I heard the Spirit of God tell me, say, Shanae, he said, I hear you. I understand everything you're saying, and I heard it. And I started smiling. I said, Thank you, Lord. And that was kind of like an encouragement to keep me uh, wanting to pray in the Holy Spirit, pray in tongues, because there are times I pray and um, and I don't know exactly what to pray for. Holy Spirit knows how to convey that to the Father for me, and to see that vision really made me feel good. It just let me know that Father, not only does he hear me, he see me. He's Jehovah El Roy, El Roy, meaning E-L and then R-O-I, El Roy, he's the God that sees. So God is very aware of us. And sometimes, you know, we may not feel him uh, because we don't see him, but he's there. He's ever present. All sin, ain't nothing that you can do in the blackest dark, under the blackest cover, make your whole room black, thinking God can't see you, he can't hear you. God sees you, okay? He hears you. He sees, he sees everything you're going through. He knows all your pain. He knows everything. There are times that you praying in English saying, Lord, I'm hurting. Sometimes that just don't get it. So then you pray in the Holy Spirit. Some of you may say, what is praying in the Holy Spirit? Uh, praying in the Holy Spirit is, is, is praying in a foreign language, but it's a heavenly language, y'all. It's a heavenly language that only God and Holy Spirit and Jesus understands. The devil don't, the devil don't understand. He can't interpret nothing that he can't interpret none of that. Some of you may say, well, uh, people in Satanism pray in tongues. Well, they might pray in different languages. And, and Satan may give them ability to, 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 to pray in other languages, but that's not a heavenly language. Uh, if, if, if people are praying in tongues and, and they're full of Satan, whatever they're praying about, obviously, is based on curses. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whenever you serve the devil, I mean, that's curses. You know, Satan have nothing good to say, but he don't understand. This language he does not understand. It's only meant for God to understand. And as you pray more in the Holy Spirit, uh, if you pray and ask God what you prayed about, he will give you an understanding. And just like after you pray in the Holy Spirit, then there are times that God will give you exactly what you prayed about. And so... After I saw that vision, I felt so, so heard. Uh, 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 I, I knew, I felt, I felt Father's presence. I knew he was right there. I, I knew it just felt so precious to me, like as if 
you know, he's my, he's my, he's my father. He, he placed me here, but it almost made me feel like my father, you know what I'm saying? Like my earthly father and, uh, which I wasn't raised with him, but father felt, he felt so close. You know what I'm saying? Not just in spirit, but he felt like father in the flesh to me, you know, at that moment. And it made me feel good just to hear him say, Chanel, I, I hear you. I understand everything that you're saying. So he understood everything that I was saying in the spirit that I couldn't convey in English words. Okay. So maybe y'all would like to hear me pray in tongues. Something like this. Okay. Now ask me what I just prayed about. I have no idea. But if I concentrated and asked Father to give me an interpretation, he would give it to me, okay? So I'm not sure exactly what I prayed about, but what he showed, shared with me in that vision was as I prayed in those unknown tongues, those are heavenly tongues. And it's sad because uh, a, a lot of churches, uh, I know I came out of a, a Baptist ministry, they didn't preach it. And I think mainly it was because it was a lack of knowledge and they was afraid of it. They thought it was for the church back in the day. But if there's any people that are in the Baptist ministry, uh, uh, Methodists, you know, other ministries that y'all have not been introduced to the Holy Spirit. I think a lot of times it's out of traditions. Uh, our forefathers, they, some of them were just scared of it in those religions. You know what I'm saying? And because they didn't understand it, they just posed it as it was just for back in the day. But the Holy Spirit is very much for today. When you want to be heard from God, when you want to know if God hears you, ask God to fill you with the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's a surefire way of just like, let me show y'all something. When you're praying in the Holy Spirit, it's just like you talking to the Father. He's on the other line. And when you're praying in the Holy Ghost, Father hears you. He's, he's actually listening. And that's what you need to know. So praying in the Holy Spirit is just like having a telephone line straight to God. That's if you want a conference call, that's a straight conference call to the Father. So for those you are filled with the Holy Ghost and you haven't been praying in tongues, I want to encourage you to begin to activate uh, praying in tongues again and begin to do it more often. Uh, start at 10 minutes a day, then build up to... 30 minutes, build up to an hour, build up to two hours, however long, and ask Holy Spirit to, to empower you to pray for a length of time. And some of you will, I've prayed in the Spirit, but I sounded like a baby. You know, it sounds like baby babble when you first start out, but the more and more you pray, your vernacular gets bigger. And believe it or not, when you're praying in tongues, it's, it's, it's just like you, you praying in a heavenly language. It's like, I know that uh, um, I've been trained in speaking English because I was born here in the United States. And so that's what I've been trained to speak is English, but they have many other languages. Well, the Holy Spirit is their God anoints you to pray in this heavenly language. And it has many, it's made up of many different languages, but you may start out sounding like baby babble, but the more you do it, the more and more your, your, your vernacular to speak in tongues, it builds. And before you know it, you keep speaking and speaking and you're going to sound like all different languages all over the world. But guess who understands it? God does. He understands it. I mean, from start to finish, you may not understand it, but you'd be surprised. Your, your day goes smoother, uh, 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 it, and not only that, what the Holy Spirit does for you, there's a scripture that says that when you pray in the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit helps your infirmity. And what I've learned about Holy Spirit, when you become a Christian, Holy Spirit is very much involved in your life. Holy Spirit is involved in you receiving Christ as your personal Savior. Holy Spirit is involved in bringing conviction in your life when you go on the wrong way or when you say something wrong, done something wrong. Holy Spirit is that person on not he's inside of you but he's that voice of reason inside of you that tells you chanel like my name's chanel he'll say chanel now you know that your spirit wasn't right the way you said that watch out you say what you say to this person or chanel watch out don't go here today or don't go out today or watch out for this person holy spirit has many duties you know he's your comforter he's your friend um he's your guide He's your tutor. 
uh, when you get in the word, the Holy Spirit will open up uh, the word of God to you. What you can't understand, the Holy Spirit will magnify, shed light on the word of God. What you used to not understand, now you you know, you know, understand. You know, before you gave your life to Christ, uh, if you wasn't raised in the church, but when you do give your life to Christ, Holy Spirit puts light on the word of God and, and, and reveals the scriptures to you. Holy Spirit uh, will increase your faith as you pray in the Holy Spirit. Say, praying in the Holy Ghost, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So there are benefits to having the Holy Spirit. For those who you're a Christian, but you've never been filled, and you're still feeling kind of powerless, you feel like your prayers just can't get up, or you can't, you know, there's certain things you can't do the way you want to do. Say, Holy Spirit is there to give you that supernatural extra oomph you know, that you wouldn't have normally, like, like if, if you're a singer, whatever your gift or talent God has called you to do, when you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gives that extra supernatural on your gifts. You know how some people may do something that's nice and it's kind of mediocre, but when you do it and you ask assistance from the Holy Spirit, ask God, say, God, say, you know, help me. You know, God is Jesus. God is God. God is Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit, God is three in one, yet they're all individual. But yet one, I know that's, that's something kind of hard to understand, but you just got to accept it. But you ask Holy Spirit, say, Holy Spirit, say, empower me and my gift. Help me because, you know, there are times, you know, I'm a hairdresser and I, and sometimes I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss for certain styles and I ask Holy Spirit to give me that little e extra oomph on my hairstyle or, or for someone when I'm doing their hair, or give me wisdom or, and Holy Spirit will be like, go, go to YouTube, turn this on or, or watch this. Holy Spirit leads you and guides you to help you perfect your gifts. Whatever God has given you, Holy Spirit is there to help you perfect what God has already given you. Okay. Some of you say, well, why do I have to have it? I just explained all the wonderful things I'm telling you is benefits to being filled with the Holy Ghost. To, uh, to No, you, you, you have the Holy Spirit, but you need the evidence of speaking in tongues. And that's to pray for things when you don't know what to pray for. You know, you could be praying, God, God might wake you up in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning and say, Ch Chanel or, 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 or uh, um, Ellen, wake up. I need you to pray in the spirit for about like an hour. And you pray in the Holy Spirit. And as you're praying, God begin to reveal that person to you in a vision who you're praying for. That person could be getting ready to die and is a lost soul and needs someone, need God to get involved. And by you praying in the Holy Spirit, God is able to activate his angels, send his angels to save that person from a burning hell. So Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit could be praying for you and you don't know there's a sickness inside your body and Holy Spirit will wake you up in the morning and say, pray. And you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. And, and, and right after you pray, what the enemy tried to attack you with, it could have been a heart attack, could, could have been a stroke, could have been, uh, 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 it, it could have been what, uh, whatever. It could be, you know, some dealing with the brain because you prayed in the Holy Spirit, God blocked it. God blocked it. And of course, yes, you can speak the word and say, by Jesus stripes, I am whole. Father, heal me in the name of Jesus. And there are times that you 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 need to be at a level of, well, we need to be at a level of maturity to where God can call upon us and need to use us in different aspects. There are times God may ask you to pray in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongue. He may ask you or tell you to speak the word on it. Or he may tell you, I need you to fast for three days. There's something getting ready to happen and I need you to be prepared. Or I need you to do this. Or I need you to get a couple of saints together. Y'all do corporate prayer and pray in tongues together. We have to be sensitive enough to hear God's voice. But as I was saying, when I seen that vision, it brought comfort to me. It just, I always knew I, because the scripture said so. And, and but sometimes for God to just manifest himself, to stick his head through the veil or, or through the crop or through through that glory cloud and, and speak to you and say, hey, I'm listening. And I saw that ear and it's like in the vision, I was I was whispering. I was like, I was praying in the Holy Spirit and, I, and, and that ear appeared and I was praying in the Holy Spirit and the ear was right there close, close to my mouth. 
and and the father say, I hear you. I hear everything you're saying. And it just felt so personal. And I just felt so blessed by it. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I can speak on the Holy Spirit oh, for a length of time. But I just wanted to give you this nugget that if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, seek God about it. If there's somebody that you know that's in the church and you're curious about it, find somebody around you, you know, uh, uh, that you know is full of the Holy Ghost that 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 has the evidence of speaking in tongues ask that ask that brother that sister that pastor that woman of god to to pray with you to get filled you will see the difference in your spiritual life you'll see the difference in your spiritual life if you take your 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 salvation uh you know to another level you know holy spirit drew you to to god you couldn't have came to god except holy spirit drew you OK, but the Holy Spirit wants to do more than just save you. The Holy Spirit wants to be activated in your life. I'm going to tell you this here and then I, and then I'm going to close the, uh, the video down. But I had a, this was an actual dream when I first got saved. And this was uh, in two, th no, one thousand. I'm sorry. Nineteen. I, gra I graduated in 1985. OK, so y'all yeah, guess my age at that point. but. God had gave me a dream and in the dream I saw this child and in this child this child could have been maybe like five or six years old and a dove actually went down this it shocked me I was like oh my god the bird went inside the baby's mouth but the but the child it wasn't a baby it was like an adolescent the child was translucent to where I could see the bird going down the baby's esophagus into the baby's stomach. As the as the dove went down into the baby's stomach, the child grew just like that, shot up into a grown person. And uh, but because uh, the 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 bird caused the baby to grow fast, and it amazed me, and I was like, wow. So after I came out the dream, uh, the Lord had revealed to me, uh, oh, sorry, y'all, that this was the Holy Spirit. This was the child represented. Say, for instance, you get saved. You can get saved at 13. You can get saved at 20, 40, 100. When you, give your, when you first give your life to Christ, you are a babe in Christ. Your age don't make a difference. So that child represented your new birth, your your that that stage that you're in, your your you're in that childlike stage in your salvation. But when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost helps to mature you in Christ. It what God had revealed to me that Holy Spirit helped to mature that child into a grown man or a grown woman. The Holy Spirit helps us to grow and to mature. And one time I had a dream, another time I had a dream where when I was praying in the Holy Spirit, it's like whatever I was praying about was happening in mock speed. Bam, 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 bam. It's like whatever needed to be done, it was happening in mock speed. Bam, 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 bam. And I was like, wow. So when we do pray, we activate the power of the Holy Spirit. We activate things in our life to move faster or uh, things that need to get done happens a lot quicker. God is able to move a lot quicker in, in, in our life. Stuff that would normally take like a day or a week or, or well, no, I'm going to say stuff that usually take us about a month, a year to do. When we pray in the Holy Spirit, God ups the speed because we're praying in the Holy Ghost. God has given us the ability or he's getting ready to place people in our path to make whatever it is that needs to be done happen fast. So it's benefits to activating uh, 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 Holy Spirit in the area of speaking in tongues. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all missing out. It's wonderful fellowship with the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit will speak to you. I've had many occasions where Holy Spirit has saved me from car accidents. Or 
announced blessings that, you know, in dreams that was getting ready to come my way. You, you know what I'm saying? And so it's not just about the Holy Spirit warning us. Holy Spirit exhorts us, encourages us, lets us know there are blessings on the way. You, you know, we, we just have to be hooked up, you know, 100%. It's kind of like putting a water hose halfway on a water faucet outside. But you want to tighten up that water hose so when you turn that water on, which is the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongue, you get the full force of that water. But if you don't turn that water all the way up or hook that hose on on full, you won't get the full benefit of, of that water. Okay? So I just wanted to encourage y'all that God is listening. Father hears. He's Abba Father. I don't know how many of you out there, you haven't been raised with your father. Um, I wasn't raised with my father, but I had moments where I had a chance to fellowship with him. I didn't appreciate him in my, in, in, you know, when I was younger. Before he passed, I had a chance to really appreciate him, really love on him. Do y'all know what it is to, to just have a father to just love on you, really be concerned about you? What if you knew that God was always there for you? He was, he, he, in fact, you know, when you thought he wasn't, you thought everything was said and done, but something came through. Do you know who did that for you? Almighty God. God is there. At times, we don't even know he's there. He's operating behind the curtains. He's that father that you may not see, but he cares about everything that, that you're going through. And even when you don't understand everything, God is still operating behind the curtains on our behalf. And so it's, 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 it, 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 and just knowing that he hears us when we cry, when you don't think he's listening to you, when you don't think he sees you crying, you know, uh, uh, on your pillow at night. And though you get up and smile and laugh and act, act crazy and, and you, you're the class clown at, at whatever level you at in, in your life. And, but people don't know your tears at night, but God is listening. God knows he sees, he hears. He cares about every event in our life. He cares about our emotions. He cares about what we're going through. But we have to get him involved. We have to really get to know the Lord. And, 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 the, and the way we get to know the Father uh, is more than one way. Once we get salvation in our life, we can begin to fellowship in the word of God. We can fellowship by speaking his word and fellowship by praying in the Holy Ghost. And so... When we pray in the Holy Ghost, God is listening. And say, fence, if you're a type of person, you talk all the time, well, praying in the Holy Ghost should do you well. Since if, if you like to talk all the time, well, then pray all the time. And, you know, you really want somebody to listen to you. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, God is listening to you. Okay? And um, I like what this pastor once said uh, about the Holy Spirit, how that 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 when Holy Spirit prays for us, and the word says it, that we are praying in an unknown tongue that only God understands. He's listening. I'm telling you, y'all, when y'all pray in those tongues, God is listening. So I just wanted to encourage y'all, if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, ask God to be filled. And I tell you what, before I leave, if there's those that you're not saved, and you haven't accepted Jesus, if you just happen to come across this channel and you're listening, even though you may not understand, how about we accept Christ as our personal Savior and then you can ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Say this prayer with me. Say, Father, uh, forgive me for all my sins. I thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die for all of my sins. Thank you for his death, burial, and resurrection. And I ask that you forgive my sins to the guttermost. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I receive him. I receive you, Lord, as my Savior, and I ask that you come into my heart. Help me to be all you want me to be and need me to be. And after it's all said and done, I ask that you fill me with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Help me, Lord. I want all the benefits that you have for me. And I ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer. I'm going to tell you, then, you know, for those, I'm going to tell you, I got filled with the Holy Ghost 
and uh, it was at my school. So I didn't have anyone with me when I got filled with the Holy Ghost. So for those you really serious about it, God will fill you right there, right now, if you ask him to. Okay? For those who are backslidden, you come back to Christ. Come on back to Christ. Okay? He loves you. Jesus is coming soon. Now is the day of salvation. Choose whom you will serve. I just wanted to share this with y'all. Jesus loves you. And I hope to see you uh, in heaven. God bless you. And amen.